Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at Marais. Now, I know you might be wondering, Marais? What, what did Marais get? Well, it got a very interesting new move with the recent update, or the, whenever Lumunity left, we got a very interesting move for Marais, and now it's actually a move that Cosmelian finally has access to. And of course, I'm going to be talking about impersonate, but I'm going to go over that in a second. Here, I have a brawny, smart, very sluggish Mirath, just so I'm able to do as much damage as possible, and also, um, take advantage of my secret ability, which is going to be pretty much the basis of this idea. And I have the Adam Spirit Essence. I was considering Power Cuffs, but I decided against it because, you know what? Power Cuffs, eh. <laughs> But yeah, here we have the move Impersonate, which basically if you use that, if you use a damaging move, um, you can impersonate it, steal that damaging move, and then use it for yourself. Now I know you might be thinking, okay, that's not all too useful, but basically what if you're fighting against a Wendler that wants to click Fade Away against you, right? All of a sudden, you can impersonate that Fade Away, get the clean one shot. An Ikazune wants to flash and flee against you, you can impersonate it and get out of there and get really solid damage, right? And the added bonus of it is that you know what move they're going to click that ends up actually being a pivot move. So you can actually react appropriately against their pivot move and put your enemies in a really, really bad spot. So impersonate's actually really cool. And plus, it uses both ranged and melee attacks. And this was the quote-unquote signature move of Isagul before it was given out to Mirath and Cosmelian. Now, Isagul never really used it because it had an incredibly low range attack stat, but a very good melee attack stat. So it was like a 50-50, are they going to use a melee move or a ranged move, you know? And then I grabbed Shatter and Shadows, which just made sense to me. Then I grabbed Metal Blast just to chunk light types. And yeah, basically, what's different about Mirath and other person it uses is the fact that it has completely even attack stats. Now, for this, I just went all out on both the offenses, as high as I could possibly go. I gave it enough energy to get it to 250 energy, and I threw the leftovers into health. I don't know if you're wasting TPs. If you are, let me check. Uh, I don't think you are. I, I don't think you're wasting TPs. No, you're not. You're not wasting TPs. Um, but this does allow you to hit as hard as physically possible on both sides of the offensive spectrum, which allows you to get really, really powerful hits with your 125 base attacks. And yeah, that is pretty much the idea with Marath here, and hopefully that you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, and here we go into the first battle. And now we want to look at here is what exactly can Marath take advantage of here? Now, oh, I should probably I should also mention that you can replace Shatter for a fadeaway if you want to be able to pivot rather than just going for some barbs. And let's see, so. I mean, we have outburst. We can actually stop. We can actually hit the Illuminati with a flash and flee, then switch in our hollow bunch, which could be could be pretty funny. Um, I'm gonna go Ika lead because they have nothing for flash and flee. Um, and I want to bring I want to bring this because I feel like it's okay into Villa Forge, and hopefully I can beat it or at least do something against it. And then for the Vesp, it's kind of tough because I want to bring this because it also can ignore. Terra Claw's ability, and this way I'm a little bit weak to Oxidrake, but I'll figure that out when I get there, because that's usually what I do anyway. As they go Bill of Forge lead, that's completely fair. Um, my Zip Zap I'm pretty sure is free, I don't think they had anything that could switch into it very well. Um, and realistically they're going for an Earth move here, right? Because they're like, oh, so much damage. Actually, if they go for the Earth move, we could go Hollow Bunch, right? And it, we take nothing. So that'll be good. Unless they Muck Blast, which, uh-oh, my whole bunch died. Actually, it'll live, but... I mean, it lives this hit, but... A little unfortunate that he goes for Muck Blast there. And I actually outspeed this thing, so I can just go for the, sh the kill immediately. Uh, if he's smart... Actually, what is it? Is his move here? He didn't have too much that could switch into this, honestly. Terra Claw is his best option. So, that is his best play to go Terra Claw. Okay, he does go Terra Claw. Nova Blast does incredible damage regardless of Terra Claw's ability. And Plasmoth Loki could come in, but I'm gonna go Simon because it makes more sense. Unfortunately, the Smoldering Heat is going to um, deal damage to me, but Simon is my play to beat this thing. And then I can try to set up my barbs, which will probably be my best play. The Terra Claw does go for the Parasitize. 
And we should take, yeah, we take very low damage. We really do not take that much damage. We actually just kind of don't take any damage from this. Uh, let's just barb once and then try driving force. Because this thing has rough up, it's going to hurt badly. I'm assuming Billiforge. Okay. Um, well, I can just go into Plasmoth and nothing really matters here. Billiforge isn't that scary for me. Because I can always just go into Plasmoth and then I don't care. Alright. Plasmoth can come in and Muck Blast won't do that much. Fire Breath won't do that much. Because then I could possibly even get a Charged Arc off. Which will be good against this Billiforge. Oh, that's Burn Up. Okay, so they, they, they want to keep traps off of the field. He can't really hit me. I'm going to throw out Taze. Just because it can hinder this Billiforge and anything else on his team that doesn't want to get paralyzed. So this is going to be good. And I want to get Mirath in. Okay, I, I do get the Taze off. Paralyze that Billiforge. Very, very good. Very good. He goes for Fire Breath. We take absolutely nothing. A little bit of damage, but we can always rejuvenate it off. Um, I'm just going to Pharah Blast. Okay, good. I'm um, assuming Terra Claw. Actually, no, Zulong. Interesting. Okay, uh, I'm going to rejuvenate because I can actually just stall this thing out. I'm just going to heal with my Plasmoth here. Let's see what he does. E-Burst comes out. Is it Archaic Shell? No, I just tank it amazingly. Okay, nice. Uh, Alright, we got a Rejuvenate off. Let's just get out of here. I want to go Hollow Bunch, but I severely doubt it's going to be able to tank. I'm just going to Flash and Flee, honestly. I think he switches. Yeah, we get a nice free Flash and Flee off on the Billiforge. As soon, the sooner we kill the Billiforge, the better, right? The sooner this thing's dead, the better this game was going to go for us. And actually, this thing might even give me a melee attack increase, right, on the Mirath, but he would always go for Fire Breath on Mirath, right? He'd never go for Landslide. So, I'm kind of in a stuck position. I can go Ika, actually. He never would... Do, would he want to switch this in on Zip Zap? Or do I just Thunderstrike to try to get the kill? I'm going to Thunderstrike for the kill. I think it kills in this range. I don't think he tanks it. He does, and my uh, par paralysis does not even go through. That is a very unfortunate, um, very unfortunate. But this does mean we get the mirror in, so that's good. We do get our melee attack increase, and we can just be annoying by impersonating. Let's just impersonate, just to be annoying. Impersonate, fire breath. Goodbye, Billiforge. Okay. That was funny. Definitely not good, but it was funny. Right? Now, the only problem here is if, it, is if they can go Zulong and just click Fire Breath. Right? That, that's the problem I have here. And it's under Sun, so it'll do a lot. Is there actually the Vesperatu? Okay. Interesting. Uh, I only have Simon, right? Simon's my only good option. And I get hit with a really hard slap down, so... Not the best option. Harrow, actually. Do I tank it? No, I don't. Alright, uh, I'm not living the next Harrow, so this Vesp just kills me. Hmm, what do I want to do to beat the Vesp? I do have Plasmoth, which could come in. He's going to switch, so I'm just going to go for a rest here. To get all my energy back. He, he, he never wants to stay in the Vesperat here. Yeah. And he goes Terra Claw. Okay. Wabuk died, though, so this thing is very hard for me to kill. It shouldn't actually be if I can just flash and flee into Mirath. Let's go Mirath. And this does let us get Shatter off, which lets us set up barbs. Which is really, really good. Because we're going to get a range attack increase. Which sucks. But we're going to hit this thing pretty hard. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Let's shatter. Shatter's really good here. 
I wonder if Zulong actually takes down the Wraith in the range I'm in. Um, Zulong. Fire Breath. They actually have Luminami. Alright, well, let me just impersonate and steal their Flash and Flea if they go for it. Let's see if they go for the Flash. This is something that I actually really wanted to try was stealing Flash and Flea from Luminami, then going into something that can beat it. Because this is not something that he would want to click Flash and Flea on, right? Unless he clicks Mega Chomp. He could also click Mega Chomp on the potential Hollow Bunch, right? Wave Wrecker. Interesting. I expected Flash and Flea. Does he not know that I'm not reflective? Is that what it is? I guess Plasmoth works. I really expected Flash and Flea there because he knows I have Analyze. So Flash and Fleeing there just gets you the switch out. Exactly what Lumonomi wants to do. But hey, I guess everyone has their own preference, right? Mega Chomp. I could have gone for the Impersonate there. Um, okay. Let's Taze. Gets the para on the Luminami, which is good, which allows Hollow Bunch to outspeed it, actually. So that's really good. Wave Wrecker. This might... No, I was gonna say, I forget that uh, Water Hits Electric is super effective in this game. I am 80% sure we lose to the Zulong. But... Did I paralyze the Terra Claw is the question. And we just killed the Luminami. Okay. Get pretty much all of our health back. Hmm. Did I paralyze Terra Claw? I don't think I did. Yeah, no, I didn't. But I'm pretty sure I still outspeed it. I'm gonna try to go Miraith. If he's smart, he just Banefuls. No, none of his moves hit Miraith super effectively at all. He has nothing. That makes sense. Okay. I'm just gonna Shadow Sprint to get as much possible damage as I can. not enough. I'd have to uh, peace of mind on Hollow Bunch. And uh, it might not even be enough. I don't think a uh, peace of mind. I live the Parasitize every single time, right? I live Parasitize. Let's see what happens though. I don't live Mega Chomp. Die, that's... that's that's some unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate. Alrighty. Here we go into the next one. Now, there. this is a Gleam team if I've ever seen one. Uh, they like Gleamings, that's for sure. Uh, like Duskit here, Loki. I don't have Poison Barbs, but I do have Taze that I can throw around. Uh, hmm. Well, I need to bring this or else it's just wraps against the uh, Stratosaur. Do I go with Ika lead against Gargolem? Or do I shatter against Gargolem, bring it down to Clutch Plushy, then Shadow Sprint really gets one layer up? I could do that. Much as I wouldn't do a whole lot. And even then, I would have uh, Impersonate for other, like, for other things. Let's do this. Let's see if that works, honestly. I'm curious. And then this is so we can beat Jalusa because it doesn't have defreeze anymore. Let's see how this works out. Merith could be the lead here. There is Gargolem. That's the real question here. Does he go for his barbs immediately? I should get a melee attack increase here. Never mind. He's a Gargolem that gives people... Interesting. That's... An interesting idea, but hey, you do you. You do you. It's just eight TPs in your range defense, but hey. Goes for barbs. I go for shatter. How much does it do? Not enough, that's for sure. 
Now, actually, does he go for another barb? No, he mudslides. I don't take a whole lot. Yeah, that's fine. I just hit. If I hit this shatter, then we are chilling. All right, nice. Now we just shadow sprint to kill it. All right, we shadow sprint, which takes down the Gargolum. Nice, 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 nice. Good, 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 good. That's very, very good for us. And let's see what he sends in next. If it's Harv, I go Lumi or Waba, right? Or Saros. Well, this I can just go Luminami. I'm 90% sure I brought Luminami. Yeah, I just go Lumi here. And then I get a uh, Flash and Flea that he can't switch into, I don't think. I don't think he had a plant type. Not that I remember. That should do nothing because it's our Saros. That's incredibly unlucky. That's not good. Well, all my moves have been disabled. Two, two of my moves have been disabled, so I'm not clicking those anytime soon. But I get to flash and flee here, so that's fine. I could honestly assume Jalusa comes in. What I want to do is try to get Mareth to kill the Harvisect, right? Because then I can impersonate it. Impersonate um, Mareth is cool, but I don't know how like good it is, you know? This is going to do a lot to the Arceros. Holy crap. Nice damage. And now we go Ika because we absorb the fire move. And then we get to just flash and flee and get this kill. And we still have all five of ours while they have uh, not many of theirs. That'd be only three left. So they have to survive a lot of damage. But let's see what happens here. But I flash and flee on... Imperior. I'm, yeah, resentful. Yeah, that makes sense. Because people don't like to... Uh... Yeah, people hate fun. So they just go Imperior. Awesome! Look at that. I had such a big threat. And they just switch in an Imperior. Isn't that so fun? I'm having such a fun time because he did that. I, I, I'm not making this up. I'm having so much fun because he got to switch one thing in. Ridiculous. I don't know when they're gonna- I don't know- I not understand why they have not nerfed Resentful yet. It's so dumb. Like, no one- you shouldn't be able- like, just because there's a huge threat in front of you, you shouldn't be able to just switch something in. It- it dies, then it's just wraps. Just a little dumb in my opinion. Just a little dumb. If I flash and flee- no, I'm just gonna go straight Simon, I feel like, right? I'm gonna go hard Simon here. There is a good chance that... Oh, I'm trying to think, like, what what move would the Halvantic click that I can impersonate on? Not any of them, right? Primal, that does nothing. That's good. Okay, that's very, very good for me. Um, so what? He has Arceros, uh, Stratosaur, Halvantic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he has. I'm just gonna drive him for spam. Until, uh, until shot circuits in, then I go get to go into uh, the bug guy, throw out Taze, which then it forces in Helvantic, which then I flash and flee into Simon. Right? That makes sense. Good. F completely free damage here. Completely free damage. Moraith is not looking that bad, though. It's not looking that bad at all. Alright, Arceros is dead the next time it comes in. Helvantic is back. That is very, very good for us. And now I know that I could probably just deep freeze here and everything's fine. Because he might want to stay and just go for damage, but then I get to deep freeze. I take nothing in return. Yep, he goes for a gnarly. And he's aggressive. Good to know. He's aggressive Halvantic. There's no real reason to set up more barbs right now. So I'm just going to Driving Force again. Nice. Alright, so Halvantic is very low. He'll take Barb's shift to Stratosaur get in. There's a Stratosaur. Oh, it's Harv. Oh, shoot. Oh, he can't beat Waba. Okay, I just deep freeze this until I die. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, I think Mirath actually cleans up the game. If this gives me a melee... No, this would give me a range attack increase, right? And he would always... I wonder, like... Hmm. I wonder if... Mirath can clutch the game and actually kill everything. I get to deep freeze for free here, though. He can't stop it. He didn't bring Stratosaur for some reason, which I was really expecting Stratosaur. But that's half your health gone. They go for Parasitize. I live this, and I get one more deep freeze off. Uh, 
I get a deep freeze off, I get to go Mirath, and then I get to impersonate. Which, if I impersonate, I steal Harv. As long as I have 95 energy on Mirath, I think I win the game with it. Nice, now I get to impersonate Soulstorm, right? Oh no, he's frozen. Oh no. That's so life-ending for Harvisect. But yeah, I am going to... Unless he has Earthquake. But no, you're not clicking Earthquake, right? Even if he does, I have a Fire Breath Ika, which is dead. Um, I have Plasmoth. Oh, shoot. This is wraps if I don't get this right. Oh, no, you're never Earthquaking here, right? You're never Earthquaking. You're clicking the Spirit Stab move. Right? Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm scared now. What have I done? Oh, no. Stop! Click the spirit move. Click the spirit move, buddy. Come on. He's surely taking his time. This is terrifying. Oh, man. Tragic. The Halvantic switched moves, right? Pretty sure it did. Well, all I need on my Wraith right now is a melee attack increase and I win the game, so I'm just gonna go Luminami. Um, it's a little bit risky because he would get a melee attack increase, but I am pretty sure that this thing went Primal Slashed and switched to Gnarly Gash. I don't, I don't think this is Boots. It could be though, and he might not have the energy to sustain himself right now. If he rests though, he does get his energy back. But I do have the Shade Pearl, so let's see what he clicks here. Thunder Crash. That's actually really good, because now he's losing health. And I think Mirath wins the game here. I'm trying to get this Impersonate thing to work, but it's a little difficult because of kind of how Mirath works. I don't know. Because that guy, I don't I don't ever see why you don't click that. I mean, I guess he just knew that I had it. Not a male. That's crazy. Really? Not a melee attack increase. This guy hates. This guy would. I would have loved to have Protagon against this guy. I Protagon beat his entire team. Don't know why he didn't have it. I, I don't know why. Can I impersonate? It doesn't even matter at this point if I if it clicks Earthquake, but I really want to impersonate. Yo, it worked. Let's go. <laughs> we got it off. What a dub. Oh, Lordy. Now for this next one. We can actually kind of lead with the same idea of the Mirath lead. Uh, there is a Shachi though, so I want to be a little careful. I'm just going to go into uh, Plasma. Plasma feels fine to deal with that. Um, a lot of his team are roamers. So as long as we have stuff to deal with those, we're fine. I'm going to bring Ika for the Dakada. And plus Fire Breath is very, very good into this guy's team. Wow, he has one switch into Fire Breath, being the Sea Drake. And for Sea Drake, we get to bring Hollow Bunch. And... Uh, then do I just bring Waba for hardwalling Plasmoth? Probably, right? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I feel like Gargolem just comes in, right? Gargolem makes so much sense to come in here, and it hopefully gives me a melee attack increase. Because I've been hoping for melee attack increases this entire time, and it's not been happening. I don't know exactly what I can impersonate here that would make a big difference, right? Maybe, like, Driving Force? Why would Waba click Driving Force? <laughs> That's the real question. Um, uh, what, what does Shachi have? Shachi would click like what? Pyrokinesis, right? Thunderstrike? Well, melee attack increase should come out here. Finally, melee attack increase. Okay, this is good. We shatter here. Does he just mudslide straight up, then I get the kill? Because he can't really switch into Mirath very well. He really can't. So Mirath could pop off. Oh, this is, does he have a light type? Go straight in my mask. Okay. This thing is going to go for the spirit type move. And I'm not for that, to be honest. I feel like Plasmoth is fine. Because I, I do I can heal. I don't want to get slapped down on Simon, right? This is fine. Oh, 
I could have done impersonate there. I just, why did I spit everywhere? Ugh. Okay, well, quad effective flash and flee that I outspeed him on, so I get a free flash and flee. Am I dumb? I thought I outspeed this. No, isn't this thing like 113? I'm 111? Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why that was weird. Um, well, he piece of mines there, which this leads me to believe this is a mixed mass. Why are you not power focused at that point? Um, let's just get it out of here then. Get it the heck out. Yeah, it is. It is mixed my mask. It was surprisingly. If you're Palm, you should just go all in with range at that point, in my opinion, right? Pure dark. I do get flinched, unfortunately, but it really doesn't matter because I'm just going to be healing and he's wasting energy. And I will get this Dragon Force off at some point. Nice, and my mask is gone. And in comes the Shachi. Fisherman Shachi. Alrighty. Glad I got one of these before the event ended. So you can say I had one. Uh, Plasmoth comes in here because Pyrokinesis could make sense, right? And I could also get the Paralyze on the Shachi, which would be really nice. Do I get the Para? Charge Dark? No, okay, unfortunate. Let's just rejuvenate here. I could see Gargolem speed coming in here. Nah, okay. We're good. Frost Beam. New move on Shachi, but it shouldn't can I get a charge dark? Does charge dark not work? Come on, man. Give me the charge dark. Give me the power on this thing. I don't want to keep doing this, but I will if I have to. I kind of only bought, brought plasma to deal with Shachi, so if I have to just Pharah Blast and die, I'll do that. Finally. Charge dark procs. Okay. Need to buff charge dark, in my opinion. Make it 50%. No range attackers. Safe. Alright, big Pharah Blast. Uh, yes, I could have just killed it immediately. Oh, shoot! Okay, uh, it doesn't really do that much for me though, because I just die. But hey, cool, we got the full para. Never mind, Plasmoth lives because that's unlucky. I am very sorry about that. <laughs> that is tragic. That is very unfortunate, very sad para. For the two turns I didn't get para, he got full para, so that's, that's absolutely tragic. All right, and he is into Mimask, which, well, we've seen this. This is a ranged Mimask, so we can always just flash and flee. <laughs> Looks like he's Energy Orb as well. I mean, if I clicked Farabus there, this Mimask dies, right? But I just wanted to get out of here. And let's just go Mirath, because this is going to give us a melee attack increase, which makes our Shadow Spin really good. All right, now we shadow sprint. I could have honestly clicked impersonate, which would have been really funny. There's no reason to ever switch my mask out here. You just want to go for damage, but I just get to the kill with my mask anyway. All right, what could I click impersonate on that makes sense? I'm trying to think right now. What makes sense? I mean, I'm hitting really, really freaking hard right now, so. This is honestly the best way I thought of using impersonate in the Wraith is to just max out your attack so then you get to do as much damage as possible against Things that you impersonate. He's certainly taking his time as Dakuda is in. I don't think any move this thing has one shots me. Do I just impersonate to see what it goes for? I do. I don't. I don't know if I die to Electro Cannon. I feel like this thing's gonna. Soul. I'm gonna impersonate. What is he gonna do? Slap down. All right. No more item for Dakuda. Oh, shoot! My jaw is agape right now. What the heck? Was that a tender Dakota? Or did that... My god, Mirath. Okay, man. I didn't know. Holy crap. Okay. Did not expect that to kill. At all. I expected that to do like a little uh, un under half. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, I can always assume a flash and flee here, but I don't care right now. I'm just going to throw out a shatter. Pestilence. Interesting. Okay. Glad I didn't go for impersonate there because it didn't really make sense to me to click, to click impersonate there. 
But I get a big hit. I might actually kill the plasma from one hit. Sheesh. All right, now we get to shadow sprint, which puts us at a little bit of energy left over. I think it is 55 energy. Yeah, it should be 55 energy left. Yep, so now I have enough for an impersonate, shatter, metal blast, you name it. I can also click shadow sprint twice if needed, but it is a gargolem. So we don't really care as we can just go for shatter into our demise. So imagine I clicked impersonate. Imagine. That would have been awesome, dude. But I expected mudslide, so I didn't want to go for it. Then we can just assume Mudslide comes out, right? Let's just wait and go for a Shadow Sprint. But that, that, that impersonate Slapdown taking down the Dakota without any damage to Murray is awesome. Like, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. It's just Shadow Sprint. Imagine he clicked Slapdown there. And then I get to just... Oh my god, he did. Imagine I clicked Impersonate and it killed. <laughs> oh, I should have done that! I mean, it would have been dumb on his part because he knew I had Impersonate anyway. But, yeah. Good game. A good, good game. A uh, GG. Oh, this outsped me? Bruh. Usually Gargolem doesn't outspeed that. Whatever. <laughs> Usually Gargolem doesn't outspeed that, but I guess I'm dumb. Maybe it's, I'm not fast Ika. I guess I'm not. Yeah, Gargolem, Gargolem attack can't do a whole lot here. Slapdown comes out just to get some big Demoglio as they remove my health amulet, but at this point, it doesn't really matter because that is going to end the game and GG. Now, I want to have my little, my little, uh, you know, my little overview at the end. This thing is hilarious. Like, that Slapdown on the Dakota really made me be like, oh shoot, this thing's crazy. But I do think that if you want to just run Fade Away over Shadow, you can. I do think that Shatter, though, keeps you an incentive of wanting to stay in to impersonate other moves, which is completely fine. You can also impersonate fadeaways against stuff like Silverst Icicle, Wendelin, uh, maybe even one of the Yokais. You know, you could impersonate Flare from Land Torch, which sounds absolutely hilarious, you know? Impersonate just a really funny move overall, and I'm glad that Moraith got it and can actually abuse it very, very well. And with all that being said, hopefully that you guys enjoyed. Bye bye